today we are going to learn what should be the schema name for SAP system, right? So suppose if you have a SAP system called DV2, okay? Suppose if you have a SAP system called DV2. So now my question over here, just try to give the answer for this question right here in the chat box, right? Here, your system name is DV2, okay? Then you have to give your, then what is the name of corresponding a schema through which your application server is connected through which your application server is connected so write this answer you know here here i want to get your answer so some people is pinging over here let me see what's your answer okay uh no i didn't get any answer till now just write your answer over here what you think your your as per sap standard practice what should be the name of the schema right what is the name of the schema through which your application server is connected okay so once again i'm trying to make you understand this question okay so her case is telling sap hana uh, dv2 okay fine uh, this uh, is not 100 percent correct but it's okay, you know, the 100% correct answer is let me uh, try to explain for other people so that, you know, they will understand the question. So this is your application server, right? This is your application server. And, uh, okay, Jayanth is telling S4 HANA DV2, okay. Okay, 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 fine. So, so let us see. Uh, you know, first let's uh, let me explain once again the question over here. So uh, application server, this is the application server. And here you know that when you go to the status, now uh, when you go to some a transaction, let's suppose you go to the transaction AC38 and when you go to the status and you check over there through which your uh, application server is connected with the database, right? So you can find out the database name but there is also one option is over here through which a schema a schema means the dedicated area of the database what's the meaning of a schema we have seen yesterday we have learned yesterday we understood yesterday that a schema is nothing but a dedicated area in the database a dedicated area of the database so that same database can be used for the different different purposes right so every application server is connected with its default schema so what is that default schema through which it is going to be connected what is going to be its naming convention it is a very important question actually you know many a time you will come across this kind of question okay that's why we are putting putting more uh, focus on this question so let's suppose this application server name, your system name is, you know, uh, DV2, right? Generally we have D1, D2, DV2, like that system name, right? So DV2 is system name, then through which schema it is going to be connected. So the default schema, generally what it should follow the principle that as per SAP standard guideline, SAP DV2 it should be the name of the schema through which your system is going to be connected. So this is the naming convention over here, SAP a plus system name, okay? SAP DV2 uh, is the your default schema. However, like, you know, if basis people want, they can change its name. This is possible, they can change its name. But this is the recommended, uh, recommended schema name, you know, recommended schema name give SAP and then the system name, right? HANA and uh, HANA, HANA or S4 HANA in between is uh, not uh, suggested. So this is the standard practice, which you generally see in your organization, uh, which is there, okay? So SAP dot the system name, okay? SAP dot system name. So just go and check in your, like in your organization, what the schema name, what's the default schema name through which it is connected, right? You can just go and check it, okay? So this is about the 
a schema name so here you can see the what should be the schema name of sap system dv2 so the answer is my schema name should be sap dv2 okay what is the formula for determining a schema name so sap plus system name okay so by default we can write it here question we can mold it like this what is the formula for determining by default schema name okay how however it is not hard and fast but it is the recommended up 